What's up, guys? It's Vigilant Bag back for how long has it been? Anyway, I'm not going to be going over the state of the channel right now because it's not going to change um, as far as being dead. I uh, just haven't had the motivation, but I am back and I am uploading this video because there is something very important going on that I think needs to be discussed and some rumor rumors need to be fixed. So, what happened? AAVE had a security incident. Now, this security incident uh, did not result in any uh, active exploits. What happened is... It was caught by a white hat who reported to the bug bounty program. And after such, the, uh, I'm going to call it Ave. Ave Guardians have paused the V2 markets and frozen the V3 markets. Now, later on, the Guardians did also pause the v V3 markets. So, what does this mean? <clears throat> So in Aave, when it comes to pausing an asset, that means no uh, contract interactions can happen. That means no supplying, no withdrawing, no setting collateral, no repaying debts, no borrowing, and most importantly, no liquidations. Now, when an asset is frozen, you can withdraw and repay but nothing else can happen. Although I think liquidations could also happen, but I'm not entirely sure in that respect. Um, so the Guardians have paused V2 and some V3 assets. So let's see here. So V3 assets that have been paused are Polygons, USDT, USDC, DAI, and Euro. Optimisms, USDT. USDC and DAI, and Arbitrum's USDC, USDT, DAI, and Euro. Uh, as far as I know for Arbitrum, that does not include the native USDC asset. That is still allowed. Uh, USDC.E, which is the Ethereum bridged USDC, is paused. Um, if there are some assets that are paused and not listed, uh, just to let you know, the assets that are paused for sure are any assets that have the capability for you to borrow with a stable borrow APY. Um, and that is where the bug was identified. It was identified within a smart contract that dealt with the stable borrow API uh, APYs because that's the only information we have because the Guardians uh, have disabled that. So we can only assume that that is where the bug had occurred. Now, what a lot of people are very pissed off about, and rightfully so, is that your position is still accruing debt. Now, what happened, what a lot of people are pissed about is the borrow APY shot up, and now they are locked in to a super high debt rate, and they cannot pull out or fix that position in any way. I don't have any positions I don't I'm not borrowing any assets so I can't see what the borrow APY is um, yeah I don't have any uh, stable assets that I'm borrowing the only one I uh, the only stable asset that I am supplying that is paused is USDC on Avalanche and that only has a 5% uh, borrow APY so that's not what people are pissed off about it's mainly in the Arbitrum market where people are seeing uh, upwards of 30%, uh, which, is, which is really damn high. Um, but that is most likely due to uh, people who are supplying the asset pulling out before the market became paused. Um, because remember, the market, uh, those assets on the V3 markets were frozen and not paused uh, for, I think, about a day. And then the Guardians decided to pause it as well. Um, yeah, so when people pulled out supply, that means the utilization ratio went up as there were, as now uh, the uh, ratio of people borrowing to people supplying 
went up as of course the supply went down therefore the rates will become higher and of course uh despite being paused the debt is still ticking away which i'm still not exactly sure um why that stayed or i guess uh developers hadn't even thought of that possibly being an issue uh, but for those on the v2 market because the entire market is paused you cannot pad your health factor with anything uh, for the v3 market uh, the contract code allows us to at least pad our health factor with other assets that are not paused therefore we will have a much smaller risk of getting liquidated by the time these markets get unpaused for those in the v2 market uh, the Guardians are implementing the Liquidations Grace Sentinel. The Liquidations Grace Sentinel is another emergency oracle that is designed to stop uh, or prevent liquidations from occurring uh, shortly after an unpause. And this is only going to be applied to the V2 market. So make sure you understand that people in the V3 markets, you're not getting this grace period. Speaking of the grace period, the grace period is going to be advised by the uh, risk admins, uh, some of the other guardians. And so far, it looks like Gauntlet is recommending a three hour grace period. And as you can see here in their uh, simulation results, I will put all the links in the description uh, so you can read up on your own. So for those wondering why uh, the markets have not been have not been unpaused despite uh, votes such as this, the disable borrow, uh, the disable stable borrows being executed, that is because the guardians are waiting for both uh, the disable borrows to pass and be completely executed on both the ETH and non-ETH markets. The multi-chain stable debt token upgrades uh, to also be fully executed on ETH and non-ETH markets. And for the Liquidations Grace Sentinel to be activated on both those markets. Um, so the multi-chain state, de 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 multi state debt token upgrade is basically just disabling the and out well actually outright removing the code in the stable debt tokens for stable borrows so the code is completely removed from that if you do uh, try and call the mint uh, contract call for the stable borrows it will kick back with an error that that function has been disabled um, the disable stable borrows uh, basically just on the interface disabled uh, borrowing whereas the stable debt token upgrades actually removed the code from those tokens there are a lot of people talking about um, having some kind of compensation for the super high rates now that is unlikely going to be going to happen unless enough people come together and actually create a snapshot and then a formal AIP proposal. Um, there are a lot of people talking about it in both the main uh, security incident thread and also other threads. Um, and of course, there's people gaslighting people all around. Um, a lot of people calling AAVE an outright scam. And then there's also just people uh, saying that the Treasury. There are also people who are saying that the Ave Treasury has uh, increased. In other words, that the somehow the Ave overlords, which are just the people who own the tokens, so it could be literally anyone. It's a DAO, um, have somehow profited off of this. Um, that is entirely false because the treasury can only uh, spend and accrue value from governance votes. And as I said before, all liquidations are disabled for paused assets. The only people who would be really 
benefiting from this are people who are supplying um, the tokens that are paused as you know obviously the higher APY now the suppliers are also going to be enjoying a nice uh, uh, hefty increase in their value from that APY those are the only people who are really profiting from the borrowers being locked into this so this is one of a few websites that actually show uh, both the assets and the value in the AAV treasury and reserve. Um, and there's a lot of people saying that the treasury has drastically increased in value since this pause. That is true, but it has nothing to do with the pause. If we take a look at Ave's treasure here on DeFi Llama, we can see from the fourth up to recording that the value has increased. That has nothing to do with the pause. It has everything to do with the fact that the entire crypto market has increased in value out of uh, BlackRock talking about their steps to creating an Ethereum ETF. So the treasury is not at all benefiting from this pause. If you do want to protect yourself from situations like this, I do not really know of any DeFi insurance programs that will actually protect against situations where the guardians have paused markets to protect against an exploit. I only know of DeFi insurance protocols that will uh, actually ensure if the uh, smart contract bug has actually been exploited. So in terms of that, I do not know of any way to actually protect yourself from events like this other than making sure that you stay on top of the community and know what is going on. That way, for example, like uh, the people who uh, pulled out their supply, you can pull out before uh, it gets paused outright. That's all I have for now. Um, as I see more updates, I will make sure to let you guys know. Um, but I highly recommend you guys read uh, the links I post in the description. And I'll see you next time.